Hello everybody, Crystal and I are back today for Maggie Holmes Monday. So I'm showing you the last couple weeks in my memory planner. I have been using lots of my Maggie Holmes stash uh, in my memory planner and I was really inspired to continue to do that. So that's what we're going to do today. I have a couple of scraps here. I have these gold letters, a sticker book from Garden Party, and then these three layered floral clusters. I wanna use those up completely. And then I also have some, uh, just the last little bits of a puffy sticker sheet that I'm gonna use completely too. So I don't have any full size pattern. These are all scraps. I'm going to use them to punch some decorative uh, squares for some open areas on my memory planner spread for this week. I'm just uh, making sure that I have a nice, like the patterns, there's pattern, um, say choose a pattern, put some on the right and some on the left and have that pattern kind of like if the, on one side it's up at the top, on the other side I want it down at the bottom. So kind of alternating it and spreading the pattern around to both sides of my memory planner spread. That's just, that's how I do it. So I have all these pretty florals. I have a lovely like mustardy yellow. I have two kind of peachy pink colors and I'm just gonna go ahead and find homes for all of this pattern. And once I'm happy with where the different blocks of pattern are, and I'm gonna adhere them all down. I kept all of the rest of those scraps and I did go ahead and use them to die cut some uh, fun elements and words and some different things for some projects I have coming up, future Maggie Holmes Monday projects that I can use them for. So that's what I've been doing with my scraps. I've been trying to use my scraps up as much as possible and like this, when I create a memory planner spread, I then take those scraps, they don't go back into the Maggie Holmes bin, but I actually grab my metal dies and I die cut all the different patterns. So you see me here, I know I want to cover up some of these sections of my memory planner with some washi tape. I'm gonna audition a whole bunch of different solid colors. I was really trying to like find something that matched pretty exactly and I wasn't finding it and what I'm actually going to go ahead and decide on is this washi tape from uh, 49th and Market and it has like these green stitches on it and it's perfect. So I'm just going to use it across that top area, across the whole width of my memory planner and then across the bottom as well. I really like to do this. Um, I just add some more color. Sometimes I'm not a fan of the black lines or the black grid on in my memory planner. I mean, I don't mind it. It helps to some extent. Like it's kind and I don't cover them all up, but sometimes I just feel like it's not vibing with the rest of my planner spread or it's not like matching. It kind of sticks out like a sore thumb, especially when I'm using these like more kind of fall late summer colors. So we're just going to go ahead and cover it up. Uh, quite often I like to cover it up with washi if I can find a solid color. I don't use a lot of patterns. Pattern washi and I are not friends, but that those like nice thin solid washies, ah, all day long. Those are my jam. Okay, now I'm going to go through my stamps. Now at the end of the day, I don't end up using any of these. I just end up using my Ellie's Studio stamp the one that has the lined labels because the point of why I'm doing this for Maggie Holmes Monday, the whole reason is to use up my Maggie Holmes stash. Uh, and I have been doing really good with using up loads of it and completing lots of pages in my memory planner, getting everything all caught up. So super excited for that. I am gonna go through all these stamps. I'm gonna choose, I'm gonna think I'm gonna use all these stamps and I'm not gonna use any of them. I am at the end of the day, just gonna use the Ellie Studio one. I'm going to stamp these labels with Juniper Mist Clay Mask and Sauna Ink using my Misty and my Catherine Polar ink colors. 
and that's going to give me a nice array of lovely stamped labels that are going to match my spread perfectly and that's why I absolutely positively adore this stamp set. I don't have the coordinating dies. I fussy cut them out. Uh, they're really easy to fussy cut out. Someday I might buy the dies but um I feel like I can fussy cut them out faster just because they're easier. They're nice and easy to cut out. So I'm going to stamp them in an array of colors, mostly the Juniper Mist with just a little pop of the sauna and a little pop of the clay mask. And you can see them all over there to the right. And I'm going to find homes for them. So off to the side where you can't see, I have my planner open to my functional planner open to this week. And I also have my Instagram account pulled up because some of the journaling and the writing that I want to put on this spread comes from Instagram. And some of it is just annotated things that we did, appointments we had that week. So it, it works exactly as a memory planner should. It documents the small little things that are going on in our day-to-day -day lives things we're watching, things we're eating, um, things that are, you know, things that are happening. This week I made Mexican street corn for the first time and I have a photo of that. Logan had to have a baby tooth pulled and I have a photo of that. Um, I got a big box of tomatoes and made tomato sauce. So those kind of things are uh, what I'm looking for. And those are the kinds of things I love to document on in this project. I love that I can document all of these things in, in this planner and I can go back and look and see what was going on in our lives. So that's what I love and use this project for. I'm gonna do my journaling for this spread off camera. I actually did it when I was all finished with uh, this layout and now it's all journaled and in my um, planner. But now I'm going through those floral uh, like layered stickers and I wanted to use them. I had three so I created a little visual triangle of with the three clusters and they are used up and bye bye Yay! Next thing I want to use up are these little puffy stickers. I have two kind of large words and then I have just a couple other little uh, puffy stickers. Again, the colors match, and so I'm going to use them. I'm going to add that bloom underneath the photo of Fitz and Logan sniffing the sunflowers. And then I'm going to put the little um, plus size, plus, plus marks just up in the top right. And yeah, I had to add a Nouveau glue to some of these puffy stickers because they weren't going to stick. But that's okay, that's why we're using them up. So I used up all of those puffy stickers too, yay. So we are making our way through the Maggie Home stash. I am getting there. And after I filmed this, I am gonna, um, after I filmed this, I kept working and did another memory planner spread. Uh, you might see that one up on my channel. I haven't, sometimes I post them, sometimes I don't. It depends on, um, how much content I have going up on my channel for a week. And it also depends on um, how the viewership is because these aren't the most popular videos. <laughs> so I try to get them up for those that love them because I know there are those that love them. Uh, but sometimes I uh, have to stick to some of the more popular types of videos. So I'm just going through adding on the rest of these puffy stickers. I'm going to use that love. Don't worry, I'm going to turn this on the side and I'm going to put love by the photo of the Mexican street corn because that stuff was amazing. If you've never made Mexican street corn before, I highly recommend it. It was so, so yummy. Messy, but yummy. So now I've used up all the puffy stickers. Next, I'm going to go through this little sticker book and I am going to use some lettering below this cute little meme of Baby Yoda. Another fabulous thing to document in a memory planner. Uh, I'm going to uh, put the little meme down there. And then I'm going to notice that there are 
all of these cute little like clear floral stickers and they're really cute and they match that floral paper really really well so what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to end up clustering them on top of all of these those kind of narrow labels there's a couple places around my um, around my spread where I have these narrow labels that I'm going to write in, but then there's like this open space above it, and I'm going to use all those cute clear stickers to kind of fill in those narrow spaces and kind of create almost like these little flower patches across the top of the labels. I thought it worked, looked so cute, and I think that it um, used a lot of these stickers because these kind of smaller stickers in the sticker book I'm, I'm not going to use them on kind of larger projects they get lost but they were perfect for just that little open space above these long narrow labels I think they turned out so cute I also have the 6 by 12 sticker sheet here and I'm just going to add a couple of stickers there were just a couple of like so that mustardy polka dot mustardy color is really um kind of like I feel like it needs it's a good place to add embellishment it's um it doesn't the floral paper kind of stands on its own but those mustardy colored ones it needs a little something see like right there so I'm actually going to tuck a little house in underneath because that day that Monday um I'm going to write in that like I did laundry and stuff around the house so it was easy to it was a good fit to put puppet underneath there then I saw these little hearts on this sticker sheet and I thought oh those little hearts are stinking adorable I want to use them it's going to take me a minute but I'm going to find the most perfect spot for them I am going to kind of cascade them down so I have that bit of open space between the uh, labels and the love the puffy love that I put down and I'm just going to kind of cascade them down that side of the page I love how that looks I think it turned out so 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 cute and that's where we're going to call this spread done so we have all of the different things for that week it looks cohesive it is ready for a pen and here are all of the close-ups be sure to head over and check out crystal's layout i'm sure she has a gorgeous 12 by 12 layout for you today and here are all of the close-ups have a wonderful monday everybody and i'll see you again soon bye